In this video, we're going to talk about the rules you have to follow when programming in our Herculade software. So um, if you look at the image here on this slide, you can see that we have two things that we have to keep in mind. So number one is, and we're going to bring up the block here in a second where we do this, but we have to put a rapid position at the beginning of the block. And that is going to be not only where the tool rapids to before it begins cutting the profile. Here you see the profile that we're going to program. We'd come in here, come up, follow this black line, and then pull off here. It's going to rapid here at the beginning of the move before it drops down here to our starting point. And then it's also going to rapid back there when it finishes and it pulls off of the stock here, it's going to rapid back when the profile is completely done. The thing to keep in mind about the rapid to position is, as I said, it's going to go there at the end of the block as well. So let's say we were doing this bore down here on the inside. We rapid to this position at the beginning of the block. It's then going to drop down, rough out this bore, come down here, finish to this position here, and it's going to immediately go back to our rapid to position. So on an ID, we're going to want to make sure that rapid position is somewhere out here in a safe location in front of the part, but small enough or the small enough diameter that we're not going to run into the part when we finish the profile. Now we're going to see that in our graphics. So as long as you look at graphics and watch it run before you run your part, there won't be any problems. So just remember that not only are we going to wrap it here at the beginning of the block, but also at the end of the profile. And that's where we really have to be careful. The other thing that we have to think about is we are going to program everything in perpendicular moves. So if we start a profile by feeding into the face of the part and we cut whatever we need to do, even if this turn, this move here is our last move, we still have to have a face. If we start with a turn, we have to end with a face. If we start with a face, like we're facing off the front of the part, we have to then end with a turn. So there has to be perpendicular moves. And the reason for that is, you'll see here in our little, our profile here, we're going to start here with a turn where we feed into the part. We're going to complete this profile, and then we're going to feed off the part here at the end. Where we start the turn and where we finish this face those two points are going to connect and that's where the control assumes that our stock is and we'll begin all of our roughing passes from there. So let's look at that on the graphics and see how that works. Okay, so if we look at this here, we see that we faced this part off. So here is our starting position. We rapid, or I'm sorry, we face down face of the part and then we pull away. You can see the little blue line here. That is our actual um, profile that we've programmed. And here we've started in front of the part, we fed into it, and at the end we came off at this point here. The rapid position is this position up here. So we rapid it here at the beginning. We came over, fed down to our face move, then we started all of our cutting. So this is our rapid to position, both at the beginning of the program and at the end of the program. Now, when we rough this out, let me turn these rapids off again. We start roughing wherever we've pulled off to here. I'm going to go change that value to something much, much larger. So I'm going to go to my profile turn here. I'm going to change that pull off. Instead of 2 inches and 150, I'm going to go 2.5. And you'll see that we're going to cut air for several passes before we ever touch the part. Again, we begin roughing wherever we've pulled off to, so keep that number very close to the diameter of the part. Now this rapid to position that we've been talking about, in the profile or in the programming block, we'll go here to the beginning, segment 0. If you mill, if you program the Herco mill, you're already aware of this. If you're new to Herco programming, and we'll cover this more when we get into the actual programming of these blocks on another video, 
but we have segments. Each one of these moves, the turn, the face, the terp, taper, blend, or, well, each one of those will be a segment, and we will program the end point on all of those. At segment zero, which is the only point that we have a starting point in any profile or in any of our uh, programming um, features, that is also where we can get to the process tab, which is where we put in what tool we're going to use, speeds and feeds that come in with the tool, things like that. And we have the geometry tab. The geometry tab is what we use to control the size of the part, the feature that we're, pro that we're cutting, the profile that we're following. But it's also where we put in the rapid position, which is what we're talking about here. So the rapid position, I usually add 200 thousandths to the diameter of my part, and I start 200 thousandths in front. It's just something common that I do when I'm doing OD turning. I just add 200 thousandths in both directions. Because I normally start, you can see here that when I start the profile, we're starting 100 thousandths in front of the part. So I just want to make sure my rapid position is outside of that. So again, here's where we put it in. We go to the geometry tab. We put in our rapid positions. We make sure that our starting point and our ending point our perpendicular moves, so we want to turn and, f and then finish with a face. If we start with a face, we want to end with a turn. And we got to remember that where we start the profile, where we end the profile, that is going to create the corner where the control assumed stock is and where we begin all of our roughing passes from.